There's an argument against more property tax cuts coming from fire districts across Colorado. Fire districts are smaller fire departments that get most of their funding through property taxes as opposed to municipal fire departments in cities funded through sales tax. Our Bill Folsom asked the president of the Pikes Peak Fire Chiefs Council about impacts on the 18 fire districts in El Paso County. There is some anger and frustration coming from fire departments across the state as the state legislature meets to talk about property tax cuts. Fire departments are saying those cuts come at a cost. A Cimarron Hills fire crew going lights and siren right past the firehouse. Responding from one emergency call directly to another is becoming more and more common as the population in the area grows. So we're adding that growth, but yet we're gonna see less revenue available to have staffing available to respond to those calls. More people bring more calls, and that's just the reality of the situation for us. Andrew York is Cimarron Hills Fire Chief and President of the Pikes Peak Fire Chiefs Council. He, along with other fire district chiefs across the state, are looking at budget reductions next year because of property tax cuts from the passage of Senate Bill 233. Going into next year, just for Cimarron Hills Fire Protection District alone, we're seeing about $185,000 reduction. And that's our preliminary estimate. Now there's a special session and talk of more property tax cuts. Information put out by the State Fire Chiefs Association shows a potential $539 million revenue drop for fire districts across Colorado, while calls continue to increase. The reality of the situation is if you reduce revenue available to fire districts, there's going to be less firefighters and fire stations, less fire trucks on the road, and less ambulances responding. Then there's the reality that comes in the aftermath of disasters like the Waldo, Black Forest, and Marshall wildfires. Insurance companies raise rates and fire leaders say they could go even higher if fire service is compromised. And if you're going to reduce property taxes any more going into next year, keep fire districts exempt from that. And that's what we're looking for, is just exempt us from future reductions so that we can stabilize our revenue. Fire department leaders are speaking up and making their concerns public. It's now a wait and see to find out what happens at the special session. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.